So we are going to look at the latest vibes going on Solana NFTs right now. We are also going to look at what I'll be minting as far as NFTs, a little bit different from my project reviews. This one is more on what I am minting this week. We got some crazy stuff going on. Blocksmith Lab goes on steroids, Zuni's love affair with OpenSea, and much more. First off, this isn't financial advice, only entertainment educational content. Okay, so to start this off, the first thing I'll be minting is Zunis in about eight hours. And the reason why is because first, they are the first to be Solana on OpenSea Launchpad Mint. And this is going to be interesting because Ethereum folks are really basically just getting to start to use OpenSea Solana. So I'm personally curious on how Zuni will perform on OpenSea and how ETH holders will basically look at this and if they will be minting this in the masses. As you can see in the chart of Dune, you could basically see that Magic Eden pretty much controls the market. Uh, OpenSea rarely has anything on there and in the beginning you could see that OpenSea was trying to perform but then it just disappeared. But again, we are about to see the first ever launch pad on Solana uh, for OpenSea and it's gonna be a little bit different. So the dominant marketplace right now, Magic Inning for a very long time, but this being the first big Solana Mint on OpenSea could help OpenSea take 1%, and if it goes well, we'll probably more launch uh, pads will be coming in. So Zuni's also recently reduced their mint price and listed to their community. They also said to smash that like button. So if you saw my last video, we had some Zuni whitelist for you if you joined our Discord. Okay, so Zuni's isn't really a Solana mint. It's a fusion of ETH and Soul, and it goes to the day where basically this alpha group called MVHQ was started when NFTs basically began their infancy experiments. And there were so many rugs at that time. So in this MVHQ Discord, a lot of wins were happening in the ETH side and projects had a lot of history with this. With that, this is basically how OpenSea got together with Zunis was because they had this historical type of background. So in conclusion, Zunis is going to be an interesting experiment. Um, that's why I'm saying that there could be ETH holders on this uh, basically minted. So a lot of Solana people don't know that, but again, we don't know if this will catch hype. And my gut feeling is that it could pay a prior reach, maybe five soul, eight soul, I don't know, and level off for there for a week. And they'll probably fall and back to probably valuable levels at one or two soul. Not financial advice, just my opinion. I could be way off here. I never minted a soul, I never minted a soul NFT project in OpenSea, but this will be my first, so it'll be interesting. So I'm personally going to mint this, try to flip it. It might have hype. I don't know, we'll see. And watch my Zuni videos for a very deep research on this project I did below on the description below. Okay, so the next project I'm going to mint is Parrot, and this one I'm more than likely going to keep and not flip it. Now, Parrot is basically a platform that is basically building an e-trade application for NFTs. And it's a platform made for DJs to copy trade elite godlike traders. The traders will offer a subscription plan one soul a month, probably somewhere around that price. And the DJ can subscribe and just copy trade basically the big trader. Now they are going to be building more tools around this and this is right now where the bread and butter is at. But if you haven't noticed, I am looking into utility right now than brands and not just any utility. I'm trying to search for utilities that have moat. And it's harder than it looks because Blocksmith Lab had a moat, well I thought they did, but Imagine Eden came in attacking the fortress with their own whitelist tools. So again, we are looking for castles that are hard to invade. And this is basically means that a project with advanced tech, hard to replicate their team, their brand, etc. All that's all together and put it into this moat. So with Parrot, I like that they are building this type of platform and it's not gated essentially. Anyone can use it. So with a subscription model, Parrot has income streamed through this utility and it's not heavily reliant on royalties or tokenomics. So as far as Mo, I mean, I would think that it's probably a seven out of 10 right now. I do think that someone else could potentially make a similar platform, but the question is, can they catch up? and can Parrot keep innovating. So Parrot basically has a head start right now and we'll see how this goes and performs and on to the next project. So basically I'll be minting this project called Rakudos and Rakudos, I actually just made a video on it. I'm currently editing it as an upcoming NFT review and I am keeping this one. I'm not gonna flip this one unless this price goes way overboard to like 15, 20 so and I'll probably flip it and then rebuy at the uh, lower place. But Honestly, that's not, that's not gonna happen. But the team on this project is insane. They have a huge AI team. These guys literally build AI products. Uh, some of the people worked with Amazon and the whole team has experience with basically artificial intelligence. So Rakuto is basically an expansion of Shakuto NFT project. 
And what they will do is expand their AI team on the developer side with this expansion growth of NFT collection. So they're basically a tech company, end-to-end -end platform for builders. It's basically AWS, but a smaller vision. It's not, it's not a complicated AWS product where you have hundreds of products that you can build off and it could get quite expensive. This is a small version end-to-end -end platform. So let me know what you think about this one and on to the next project. Okay, the next one I'll be minting is Fruits and Fruits is basically gonna happen in a day. It's an interesting project. I really like the art because it's more than just a PFP. They branded it for their juice brands. Yes, basically it's movies and it's just cute art that it fits with the global reach as far as juicy moves go. So, so the other thing is that they're gonna be taking this experience and helping other Web3 projects build their own fruit and beverage product which is really cool idea. I really do like the idea that they're gonna build their own and they're like, hey, we can teach you all how to do this. This is sweet and I really think it could work. These guys are also minting out very soon, again, July 21. So I don't think it's going to be much of a hype, but we'll see. But if it does do a 3X, I'll probably sell it and hopefully I'll be able to buy it back in at a later point when the valuation and the hype dies down. So again, those are my quick four mints that I'm gonna be going for and comment below on what you'll be minting. Also check out our Discord as well as I got some invites below. Expires after 20 invites. So as far as what type of vibes are happening on Twitter right now, man, to start this off, Blocksmith Lab basically went full chat mode and turned their PFP into an upgradable PFP and it looks sick. It looks like a chat PFP. It, it looks like it's got some type of steroids going on on it. Just look at this thing. It's so much different. That chest is freaking massive. Uh, I want to know what type of protein this dude takes, but dude, this is definitely cool. Just look at that PFP and how it looks like. Uh, and again, these guys are the same people who worked on the gods. So you can see just the resemblance on how their styles are cool, just their art. But I mean, I mean, look at the look at the old PFP, and then just look at the new one. It's just a huge difference right there. Uh, facing forward, and then facing right there a little bit, English to the right. As far as Blocksmith Flaps, uh, it it made a huge move, and basically on Hello Moon, it reached basically the Smart Money Daily inflow ranking, and you can see right here, it's finally going back down after that announcement. So really cool stuff. And let's go straight to OK Bears. Basically, they went into hibernation, but by the power of Zeus things did not go well it went sideways probably worse than Amber Heard's court case so something has gone wrong in hibernation through the development side to explain the scenario in order to hibernate you have to go to their website and connect your bear and press hibernate easy right well not exactly what happened was some bears couldn't connect to the hibernation uh, link and on top of this some bears basically hibernated and woke up, basically meaning that they, are, they aren't they are staked anymore. So the top bear holder who is called HG Soul, I follow him big time. This guy is a huge whale, very smart. He noticed this issue with one of his millions of bears that he has and he wasn't able to stake it. And then like a hundred of them woke up from a hibernation and he basically decided to inform the community about this situation with the tweet. Later on, P Power of Pixel, who was the lead of this project, actually researched it, responded, and told people that they were on their way on fixing this issue. But if you look at this, HGSO basically says, after 21 hours of multiple bugs spotted and lots of efforts to raise this concern on Twitter, we got an update from the official Twitter. Some advice, get the community to help you, and basically expand the team, find proper talent. So he has some good points there because it looks like the developer team needs some help, and I am sure they're gonna be working on this. But again, OK Bears rarely tweets because this happened, they treated the Twitter. So yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on with their dev team at the end. They stopped hibernation and currently just informed their community to hold on to their OK Bears, and they're just gonna basically just make sure that you don't you know list it so again so a lot of drama on twitter like usual that's the latest news on solana nfts right now and if you enjoyed this content make sure you subscribe you hit that bell smash that like button much love and peace